Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom button. Now, if you try to use the normal way of creating buttons, which is using your modules, you'll find that you are very limited in how you can customize your button. Pretty much all you have is your text, animations, colors, and that's it. So my way of creating buttons allows you to create custom buttons where you can add multiple lines, icons, images, and so on. So this is the button that we'll be creating. It also has an animation, and this is the normal button that comes with your button module. And by the way, in this tutorial, I'll be using Divi. And if you'd like to learn how to use Divi, if you just buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my full course, which teaches you everything that you need to know about building websites using Divi. Now, let me show you how I managed to create this. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is to enable the Visual Builder. And then we're just gonna come here and create a brand new row. So I'm gonna come over here, click this plus button, add my row. What I'm going to use to create this button is a blurb because this allows us to have three elements in there. So I'm going to click here on blurb. The first thing I'm going to do is to add my title. So I'm just going to come over here and just add great, amazing offers. And then over here, you want to say, you want to give your whatever description you want for the button. So it can be pretty much anything that you want. So in this case, we're just going to say sign up today and get 20% discount. So next we can see here that we still have this image. Now we don't want this image for our button. So we're gonna come over here to image and icon and change this into an icon. Next, we're gonna come over here and choose the icon that we need. So we can go with anything here. So I'm just gonna click this shopping cart just to make it different from what we have here on the top. Okay, so now that we have this, the next thing now is to make sure that we align everything. So I'm gonna come over here to design, image and icon. And right now, my image and icon placement is at the top, so we want this to the, uh, to the left side. So all you have to do is to click here, click on left, and now you can see everything has shifted. Now, we're doing great. The next stage now is to go in and customize our text. So all I have to do now is to come over here to, the, to, to each and every part of this text, click this brush tool, and, and then we're going to come over here and change our font. So in this case, I'm going to change this into Poppins, make it slightly bigger. And then we can also change here our font weight and this can be bold. Next, we're gonna come over here to the sign up text, click the brush tool. Again, we're gonna increase the size a little bit. Then we're gonna come over here, change this to Poppins. And by the way, you can choose any font you want throughout this process, so you don't have to use Poppins for this. Okay, so next I'm gonna come over here to my font weight. We're gonna change this to light. Okay, so I think that's much better. We sort of make it slightly different to what I have here on the top and reduce the size a little bit. So let's go with um, 18. Great, so now that we have this all in place, this is looking great. The next stage now is to decide what color you're gonna have for the background um, button. So in my case here, I'm gonna have a dark color button because I really want it to stand out. I'm gonna make sure my text here is set to white so that we have great contrast. And also this icon here needs to be set to white. Okay, so now that I have everything set to white, once we add our background color, everything's gonna look really cool. So the next thing we're gonna do is just to highlight on this area here, click on our row settings, background, background color, and this is where you can add your color. So you can choose any color you want to add in this area here. So um, there's orange here. So let me just go with orange just to make it different from what we have on the top. Okay, so now that we have this, uh, the next stage is to link this button. Okay, now this is the most important part. So I'm gonna come over here to link, and then this is where you add your link URL. So in my case, I'm gonna add uh, Mac University. Okay, so I've got Mac University there in the link. That's, this is great. And then over here, you can actually open this in a new tab. And I highly recommend that because it's also great for user experience. Okay, so now that I have this in place, the next thing we're gonna do is to come over here to design sizing, and then we're going to decide how big our button is gonna be width-wise. Okay, so we're gonna to come to custom width, change this to percentage, and you can see here it's taking the whole width, but you can play around with the size here, make it smaller. So let's go with maybe uh, 58%. Okay, that's looking great. So now we have a little problem. Our text there is not really in the middle, so we need to go in and customize this and make sure that it's in the middle because our button here is not balanced. But before we do that, I would like to add a little bit of a transformation. So I'm gonna come over here and just create a basic zoom on hover. So I'm gonna click here on this hover tab, click on the hover tab as well, and just make this slightly bigger, maybe 8%. 
So now we can just do a quick preview. That's looking great. Next, we're gonna come over here to our border and we're just gonna add some rounded corners here. So I'm gonna add five. And then we're just gonna make it nice and smooth on the corners. Okay, so, so far everything is looking great. Let's go ahead and save. And then next, we're gonna come back over here to our module settings and then adjust the, the size of this. Okay, so we're gonna come over here to design sizing. And then all we have to do is just to make sure that we drag this until it's pretty much in the middle. And I think that's the right place. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Now we're gonna save the page and exit the visual builder. Now the moment of truth, we need to test and see if this button is working. So first of all, we're gonna test for the animation and then we're also gonna test and see if we click on the button, if it takes us to Mac University. All right, so I'm just gonna scroll down here to my button and you can see here it's animating, which is great. And then if I click on it, it opens in a new tab and it goes to Mac University. And by the way, if you wanna sign up for the Mac University membership, you can go ahead and do that. This website has a lot of tutorials that teach you how to design awesome looking websites. And in fact, I have a free course here, enroll for your free WordPress course. Absolutely free, go ahead and do that. All right guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.